Yo, Saka Fed, I'm Sammy Beats. Today I'm gonna show you how to correctly mix your Ama Piano instrumental. Let's have some fun. I'm gonna try to talk about different techniques or different methods that you can use to improve your mix. So, when I'm mixing a bit, the first thing that I'm trying to do is my low cut. Low cut is like you remove some frequencies that you don't want, like low frequencies. On my synth, on my guitar, on my piano, I always try to remove the unwanted frequencies. I mean, the low frequencies. If someone says something for you to mix, once you do the low Look at, you will see that the mix is automatically improved. I'm gonna cut the low frequencies on some instrument to create space for the bass. You know, normally for the bass, we will need 60 hertz, uh, 100 hertz, maybe 120 hertz, depending on the log drum that we use. Those frequencies, we will cut them from other instruments and then we leave them for our bass or our log drum. You can use any EQ that you want, guys. Uh, let me go to the floaty parametric EQ too, since every single one of you have it. This one is the slope that you're going to create. It is good to apply low chord. Also, if you apply too much low chord, you can kill the vibe of your instrumental. You see, if, for example, we cut too much, you lose the bottom that this instrumental have, but we can leave it at 200. You see? Now let's do the same thing for the piano. Let's see the slope that we want. Also, you can automate your low chord. When you have a section that has the bass, you activate the low chord. When you don't have the bass, you just swap it out and then you have the low frequencies on the other instrument, like on your synth. It's gonna be very helpful. For example, we can have it cut right there when we have the sub and then when we don't have the sub, we can bring it down a little bit. Right click right here and then you create automation click. Let me show you real quick. When you go up, that means you cut more frequencies. When you go down, that means you cut less uh let me just show you real quick you can see that now we have a uh, like 2k locker so now we're gonna bring it down uh like okay let's say that what we want this right there like when we have the base where we start having the base we start having base like that right here and then we can take it down here like that and then right there we don't have the base you automated it is so simple um now right there you have it like that and then it's gonna get back down that means now you have all the base frequencies that is playing this is so simple and you can do it and also don't feel that you need to Add low chord on every single instrument. If you have an instrument and then you don't feel that it has a lot of more low frequency that you want to remove, you don't even need to apply a low chord. Now I think I am done with the low chord. You see how you can use the low chord. I'm not gonna go deep in EQ in every single instrument. You can apply a subtractive EQ that means you remove some frequencies. You can do add additive EQ that means you add some frequencies that you think that nice that can take your instrument to another level. But we are not going in deep on EQing, but the low chord is very essential when you are mixing. Now, let's talk about how to mix your guitar. There's different way you can mix your guitar. When you create your guitar melody with a plugin, you have to take like a real guitar. See what pedal effect they use the most. And then I'm gonna try them and try to definitely achieve the sound that I want. For this guitar, I use a lot of reverb and an EQ. Use, um, a slate G tool. THU. This one gonna give us some real guitar effect. So I'm gonna go and then use the preset, squeeze the guitar clean. Always work for me. Okay, I can change the cabinet. Um, there is one cabinet that I definitely love. This one. And then we can remove some of the low. When you have those effects, you can definitely play with the effect if you want to add more like chorus, more chorus, more flanger. You can also browse here to try to find 
effect that you want but i think i'm gonna keep it simple like that if you don't have dthu by slidget or, or any other guitar effect you can try to emulate some for example you can go and then add a flanger if you want to add a flanger there's different preset that fl studio comes with and then if you don't want your effect to to affect all the signal you can just play with the mix knob right here also you can add um reverb you can add chorus you see and then you can definitely try to emulate a nice guitar preset and the last thing gonna be maybe adding some distortion we can use uh, uh i almost forget you can use hardcore and then you can try to find some preset that work You can use Adcore and combine it with all the plugin to find the vibe, the sound that you're looking for. It is so simple, guys. Just try different things and then the one that's work, you just keep it. This is how mixing work. Nice. See? I don't think I need to do anything on the drum, they are really hard. They sound very nice and then you can feel the vibe once you listen to the drum by themselves. Sound nice, you see? Those are high quality drum loop. You can find them in the Afrobeat or bundle that is coming out soon. Stay tuned for that. Link is gonna be in the description box. So yeah, if we listen to the beat, The only thing that I feel now is like one of the bass is too loud. Yeah, I don't need this one. Let's see. That's one better. Can feel that the beat flow nice and you can hear every single element when you're mixing don't overthink don't feel that i need to add compressor just because this producer add compressor when he is making when he's mixing his instrumental you don't need to do the same exact thing that you see other producer doing for example i can mix an instrumental and then you try the same method the same plugin on every single instrument and then they still not sound the same you have to use your ear and then listen if you think something doesn't sound good, you have to work on it. If it sounds good, you just move on. And also that's the advantage of using nice, simple, high quality plugin and also sound selection. If your sound selection is bad, it's going to be so difficult to mix your instrumental sound selection, play a big part on your mixing for example if you choose sound that already clashing together when you are mixing you will need to make sure that those sound can be in the instrumental together can coexist but if you do a proper sound selection 
you you see how i just mix this instrument all i don't feel like i need to do too much in it like i told you focus on your local remove all unwanted bass frequencies that you don't want on your guitar on your piano on your wood wine and on any other scent that you use once you do that you will create space for the bass that is very important that means the bass can really play by itself on the low end you see that I create this automation right here. You see that I automate this local. You can definitely see that I automate this right here. <laughs> That's a very good technique that you can use too. And also for compression, if you are someone who create your beat with your mask, you definitely don't need to compress. Um, but you can use compression for adding more punch for your, from, to your kick. You can also use your compressor to place your instrument wherever you need on your mix. And it's not like you will always need to compress it, compress this instrument, compress the drum. Now it's not working like that. You can also do parallel compression to add punch to your drum boss or to your bass. Trust me guys, mixing is not complicated like you think it is. Don't overthink it some people will make you take like mix you cannot mix but if you train your here but listen good music do active listening and then learn some little technique and then you can mix your beat properly trust me you have to trust your ears if you don't trust your ears it's gonna be so difficult for you to mix you have to listen listen to good music well mixed music and it's gonna be easy for you. yeah i'm not gonna do anything on that beat like i told you today i wanted to show you those techniques that you can use to improve your mixing skills it's not a complete mixing tutorial but i think those techniques will help you grow as a beat maker that want to mix your beat so yeah that's it thanks for watching i hope now it's easier for all to mix your amaviano instrumental if you have questions please leave a comment down below or dm me follow me on instagram at sammy beaten see you guys